All right, Casey Cameron Boy here working on a First Amendment audit. The TV's people respect their freedom to record. I had a dispatch hang on me earlier and being rude to me, so now I'm here to check her out. Hey guys, how do you do? Hey, I just want to voice this. Um, I called earlier uh, for the dispatch because I kind of did, we can say got battered because a guy grabbed my rig and then he kept approaching me in my face. And then um, I called the dispatch and she made it so difficult for me like to even get a hold of her. Okay. Um, when I was sitting here, I'm not from here. Okay. So there's no way for me like, to kind of know the address of the street. So she was pretty much like, like about it, like straight up. I'm not trying to be rude, but I mean, if I'm not from here and I'm actually in an emergency and I was like, hey, I'm at this church, I'm at this place. I mean, she could have been nice enough to at least look up the church to be like, oh, you're at this street, you're at this, this place. Okay. But she never did that. She made it difficult. Okay. And so I, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, Sergeant Matthews, because you've been sitting here, it looks like a little bit. Sergeant Matthews is going to come out and talk to okay, you. Okay, well, I already voiced it to you, so it's good. Well, I mean, you can let him know. What? But it sounds like you want to do a complaint. No, no, no. I just wanted to voice that. I don't know who she was, you know, so it's going to take a process for me, public records. But if you know dispatches, if you can get tell them, you know, as a police officer, because if they make it hard for people like that, it sucks. It does. I understand. It does. We don't, don't want to make you guys do more paperwork or any of that. Then what it is, but... He just, he just wanted to voice. She was just kind of impatient. He, he's though. literally coming out here. Okay, well, I wait, just didn't want you guys to wait around and not know. Oh, okay, He'll okay. be out here in just a second if you can just hang out. Okay. Do you, you know how long it's going to take? Um, I just told him about it right now. So, I mean, literally, I think in a minute or so. Okay, oh, sounds okay. good. We'll wait yeah, for him. Yeah, just so you know. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and you've always been really mm -hmm. nice. I appreciate it. Uh, I mean, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Whatever you do. Thank you. Yeah, sure. No problem. It's got to be the camera. How are you there? How are you doing? Good, good. How are yourself? Yeah, so um, I made a call earlier um, about me getting, we can say it's a batter, right? He pretty much, um, a guy battered me earlier. He grabbed my rig and he he keep approaching me to my face. Uh -huh. So I made a call to dispatch and she was pretty much rude to me. Okay. Um, she made it difficult. And, and I mean, I was trying to tell her, hey, I'm at this church. I wasn't even giving her the name. And then I'm not from here. Okay. And then she could at least be nice and be like, oh, let me look it up or something. But she's like, where are you? Like, I'm trying to tell you. And even when I tell her where I'm at, mm -hmm. then she's like, oh, where are you? And I gave her my ad the address where I was twice. Um, as I said, if I'm not from here and let's say I'm getting robbed or anything, like, it, are they, you guys are going to act that difficult when, when making a call for help? Well, obviously they have questions they have to ask to try and answer. No, 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 no. Yeah, I understand, but as I said, I'm not from here, so I don't know right. the streets. So you might not know. You might not be. Yeah. So I was telling her. Not. I was telling her, hey, I'm. A, and she's like, well, where are you? I'm like, I'm just telling you. I'm. A, and she could just make it difficult. So I had to pull out my other phone. I had to like making all this and that just to get an address, an accurate address okay. from where I was. But okay. I don't think that's a that's a nice way of a. Uh, Dispatch okay. answering the phone. I think you guys, at least them, I'm not trying to blame you, but kind of, because you're a supervisor. She was just impatient. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, and then uh, about my name, I gave her my name, and she was still like, like, like I don't not, got nothing to sure. hide. I was a victim of a of a, okay. someone touching me legally. If I touch someone, if I touch you, I'm gonna get charged. So I don't know what's going on with the with the CD or dispatches that okay. make it difficult. What, what time did you call? Your, I called in. Day? What time was it? Like about half an hour. About half an hour. Half right? an hour. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what is it? Yeah, so I called them and I mean, you sh if she's from here and then she's been getting calls, she should know at least where's that at. And um, when I made the call, she even told me where well, you're not be supposed to be parked there because there are signs for you not to park there. It's like an industrial area. So even before I gave her the actual address when I, when I told her where I was, so she kind of knew where I was, I'm assuming, by the way she answered. Okay. So I don't understand why she just kept asking and asking when she pretty much knew where I was like she literally she's like, oh you're an A Street though you can park there and then she asked me about my vehicle like where are you parked where are you parked I'm like I'm not parked here I told her like I'm I parked yeah. far away and I took an Uber because that's what we do we park two miles away and we take an Uber okay. you know for safety purposes you know just in case you guys stay around a corner or you want to run people's plates on all vehicles yeah. and I mean I just ask you to talk to dispatch because if this is the way she treated me no, How is she absolutely. treating absolutely. other people, you know? Yeah. And well, I, as I said, we're not trying to make a job difficult. So, I have no, great I'll, interactions I'll with, uh, with Santa Maria. And um, I don't know what, what happened to the dispatch. Might be her mom and of, you know, know, but... Uh, you no, know, we, we don't want to file an official complaint okay. or anything. We don't want to tie... You know you got that. I, I assume you probably don't know which one... You spoke to no, sir. No, like, I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out when I go in there. Yeah, but email, you know. the first one was a mail. It was a mail, so he transferred me. I even tolerated. This. I'm calling the non-emergency line because he just grabbed my rig, yeah. and then he kept approaching me to my face. I kept backing up. He kept approaching me to my face, so I was like, 
And then that's when I started making the phone call. Mm-hmm. So what if I would be getting beat up? Like I wouldn't have been able to get helped. Right. Obviously, you know? they they have a series of questions. Obviously, they no, no, ask, yes. But I I also understand that in the moment of emergency, that they there's some basic information they need, like yeah. What are you wearing? Where are you at? How do we find yes. stuff like that so that we can start getting people out there I mean, as fast as possible? And then they got some follow-up questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say. I mean, I had a sit-along with dispatchers uh, before. Like, I don't know if you guys period. do sit-alongs here. Uh, period. You guys, you, I mean, people, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, like people that come sit-along. and just watch. I've done sit-alongs with, uh, with dispatchers, and I've seen that even when um, people call from those um, free paid phones, mm-hmm. like the free numbers, the app numbers, some numbers they come up to be from Canada, so they they right away they try to get a for example if it's text free number the text free that's the name of the app so they call text free and then they they ask for the number they didn't even ask for the number connected to that number so they can get a hold of the person so they do I I seen them work I don't know if you guys work different no, I mean there's technologies there's ways to yeah. find people there's ways to narrow it down yeah like exactly so, so I was like. So obviously they're gonna ask follow up questions like to try and and I, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll get how, that. I don't know how like you're on the phone with them and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, and right so. away, as I said, I'm like, I'm at this church, I'm at this place, and she's like, well, you can't be parked there. There's there's a it's an industrial area. I'm like, I'm not even parking. And she said, well, where are you parked? I'm like, I'm not even parked close here. I took an Uber. But she kept asking where I was parked. I don't know why. If that's a well, I mean, I, I can understand. I'm asking where you're parked. That way we can. Yeah. I'm narrow down to find you. If you're in a it, vehicle and you're like, yeah, I'm parked over here at this yeah. business or I'm parked on the street in a blue car or whatever it is, yeah. then police officers know I'm looking for a blue car in this parking lot or something. But yeah, so that's sometimes just, the reason they ask questions is. Yeah, that's just my thing. You yeah, know. I know a lot of people get frustrated sometimes because they will ask the 21 questions, and so we get that a lot where Yeah, like, I know, and I get here. I agree. Yeah. No, I agree yeah. with those questions. Like, it's like if I make a police report, some of us that. Some of us, because not everybody that, that even does this with me, they're even scared to make a police report because they're scared to give you guys their name mm-hmm. for retaliation. And I, I know it's a process. If I make, I make a police report, I have to give you my name, my date of birth, my address, sure, yeah, because it's a legal I, I document. Yeah, and that's what some people that even hang around with me that they don't do that. And they're like, they call the cops and they're like, well, I'm not going to give you my name. So how the hell are they going to make a police report? Right. So that's something people get to learn too. And just... I didn't you catch know, your name either, so I could talk hey, bad. David? A-bad, A-B-A-D, oh, A-B-A-D, A-B-A-D. Yeah. A-B-A-D, like a bad boy, but not that bad, though. Yeah. Okay. But, <laughs> that's a good way to remember it. <laughs> right? Hey, that's what I, as I said. Same, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I as I said, I, I had great interactions with this city, and I didn't expect it that. I didn't expect yeah. it that, you know, like, I was actually, I, I'm not trying to sound rude, but I, I just felt that that guy was going to do a flying knee on me or something. Because, as I said, I kept backing up, and I kept backing up, and he kept approaching me, like, right in my face, like, right in my face. Mm-hmm. So that's when I started calling, and she made it more difficult. Like. Was it, do you know, was it a business owner? Or was he was a pastor business? of the church. Of the church? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they have, some type of con- they have some type of contracts that, like, they're going to jail, and they're preaching. But low-key, they're, like, getting donations from the state. So they're now... Public, because if you get money from the state, even like uh, I was reading here, the witness protection plan, you can get paid for being a snitch. You can get paid for being a snitch, <laughs> straight up. I, I, hey, but if it's something to help the community and the country, I, I don't mind. You know, I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm okay with that. But just saying, just for future reference, if you can let the dispatch know, like oh, that's kind of yeah, But I'm not trying to make it. They should, they should be able to. I should be able to narrow it down. Here. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you for being professional. Like, nice, nice you meeting you. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm out because this is it. You know, I'm not got nothing more to do here. But, okay. but hey, stay safe though. Right. Very professional. Right. Thank, you. Right. thank you. Sorry. Looking right. sharp though. Looking sharp. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, if you guys think that now I'm, uh, I'm uh, let him step on me, you guys are wrong. And it's true. Some of the people that I hang around and people that I used to hang out around with, they're scared to even come here. They're scared to even do public records requests. As a matter of fact, they don't even know how to file a complaint. Like, like they, they, they'll do things to people when they do things to them, but how come you don't do things to cops? Why don't you sue them? I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. If you're gonna be like that with people, you gotta be like that with the government, not just people, because you know they're gonna pay up. You know they're gonna bulge to your demands. But take it to the cops, take it to the courts. Now that's a different whole story. And that's what I'm doing this year. You know, I'm changing the ball game with all these fools. Peace out, Casey Cameron, boy.